I'll be calling your article ding dong. The queen is dead. The queen is dead. The queen is dead. Ding dong. The queen is dead. The queen is dead. The queen is dead. Remember when her great great grandpa? If you're in New York and Fort Greene, I'm going to send this to everybody I know in Fort Greene. You walk over to the Prison Ship Memorial in Fort Greene Park, Fort Greene, New York. Walk over there. Remember when her great great grandpa loaded up every man, woman, and child in Brooklyn, put them on ships, going to be tried for treason? And just left them out there and they'll starve to death. Their bodies are in that opolis right there. 11,500. Well, the Battle of New York, Hamilton lost. Ding dong, the queen is dead. The queen is dead. Yay, imperialism. Monarchs, so you think about it. To the greatest imperialist, well, the greatest imperialist in Japanese history, the PM, Abby, his state funeral. And can you imagine this? state funeral. They'll have it for here in the United States. Remember when we hated monarchs? Remember when we hated monarchs? Remember when we fought a revolutionary war? I'll go clear back to John Kennedy's wife. What she said about her. Now? I will quote. Cecil Rhodes. Why would we not form secret societies to take back what is rightfully ours? You think you won that revolutionary war? Textile wars. Remember that one? South against the North. Who do you think funded it? <laughs> oh boy. Ding dong. The Queen is dead. The Queen is dead. The Queen is dead. Ding dong. The longest ruling monarch in. London Liz is dead in Mother Old England. Ain't my mother. So, I'm old school. We're just talking about. I can remember one here, right here in Utah, when I was a kid. The Mormons called this Deseret. Oh, they hated the freaking monarchs in the prison. Well, and the federal government, for that matter. They hated the USA. They wanted another part of this is our country. Now look at them all. Ding dong, the queen is dead. The queen is dead. Ding. Franklin Roosevelt. 1940. One, two, three, four, five. That MI6 rat is living with him, drunk in his bathtub every day. Winston Churchill. This is in Franklin Roosevelt Jr.'s book. Franklin? Winston, Winston Franklin. Franklin? In the basement, having a cigar. Of the White House. I gotta tell you, Winston, when this war's over, there'll be no monarchs. None of them. 0, 0.0. You might think yours is going to stand, but it's not. I went to London when I was an 11 year old boy. I saw the Queen. There's nothing more American to hate the royal family. Once the church, <laughs> you're flying right in the face of their own. <laughs> but I know if we don't play along with you, <laughs> we'll go down the same way our cousins did in Russia. So that's two of the three. And you know I predicted, of course, you know, she's almost 100. But who will be the next to fall? Her cousin. Who's her cousin? How did they win at Waterloo? How did Wellington freaking beat Napoleon? The English. They called in their cousins. Rothschild's pigeon. They called in their cousins from Russia. Remember, they're all related. And if you think Tsar Putin's a commoner from St. Petersburg, I got a bridge in Brooklyn I would like to sell you. So, ding dong. Queen is dead. Queen is dead. Ding dong. How long will Tsar Putin? Well, I'll tell you, we have a nuclear, nuclear meltdown, a big Z, so, Abby, God, I can't, still don't believe that happened. Whoa, that's crazy. How that went. So his state funeral is coming right up, and it's going to be massive, monstrous. We have a state funeral for Gorbachev. Why? He was an anti-imperialist, anti-Marcus. How did we, this great nation of anti-imperialists, 
to the United States, the great anti-imperialist nation. Okay. How did we become monarch lovers when we were monarch haters? Tell just this generation. Real easy. One of my guests from two o'clock cable TV. Operation Foxconn News. Yay, run right out of the house of Windsor. Yay, Bill Walmart Clinton. He's an Oxford seller. <laughs> Oxford. Oxford. <laughs> oh, Rhodesia. Oh my God. So, the anti imperialist nation. Now, I imagine we'll have half flags here. We'll be parades in New York City. I mean, maybe it'll pass Hamilton's parade. <laughs> Remember what Hamilton said about the royal family? Ooh, you can't say that on YouTube. You can't quote Hamilton or quote Franklin in the great spirit of Abraham Lincoln, which, by the way, I'm direct bloodlines. That's an unarguable DNA fact. I'm direct bloodlines of Alexander Hamilton. Unarguable DNA fact. Franklin Roosevelt Churchill in the great spirit of Alexander Hamilton in the great spirit of Abraham Lincoln. There's nothing more quintessentially American than to hate the monarch. But they played long ball. Huh. Ding dong. The queen is dead. The queen is dead. The queen is dead. Ding dong. The queen is dead. Ding dong. The queen is dead. <laughs> Longest standing monarch. Walk over to the prison ship memorials. Maybe you guys can have a ceremony in Fort Green Park in Brooklyn. Ding dong. The queen is dead. The queen is dead.